Right, Lord Tavernage, they've been playing for almost as long as first grade, I believe. Yeah, they've had a, had a few games, yeah. A few games. Last weekend, they took on the Sunshine Coast in what uh, I was down here. We got some footage with Chris O'Hare. It's a big win that he wanted. It's their top site, and they got away with it, but after a shaky start, mate, they uh, were chasing 170 or something. Yeah, so they, they got over the line. A, a smart man once said, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning's winning. Yes. An inch or a mile. Seven, uh, I should say they were four for 20. I had to try and get home. They got home and took the chocolates off those darn uh, Sunshine Coast boys. Caught up with Chris O'Hare and he's had what he had to say about the boys on the weekend and a great week. Chris O'Hare, uh, head coach here for the Women and the Sea Eagles, mate. Lord Tavenish, you were under the, your uh, tutelage on the weekend on Sunday, mate. Uh, things looked pretty good at the start. Yes. Tell me what happened uh, leading in this game against the undefeated Sunshine Coast. Um, I think we, we focused up well at training. I think we had a lot of things to work on with a few KPIs. We sort of were way behind what we wanted to be. So this week I think we put a lot of emphasis on the pride of playing for winning, the shirt, playing on our home ground and just working together more as a team where I think the boys were a bit daunted by their first couple of games. It's tough because you come from junior cricket to Tavs and a lot of those guys are playing second and third grade so it's a big jump and they come at you hard so I think it was a bit of a shock for some of the boys but this week we focused a lot on the pride of playing for winning and the pride of the legacy we've had over the last three years and the boys responded really well this week. Yeah, the Lord Tavernus boys, uh, a lot more distractions at that age rather than when they're 20 or 30 or something like that. So uh, it, is, mate, it must yeah. be a handful having like 30 of your own kids to try and pull them the line and play in the one direction. It is, mate, because we've got a thousand things going on ahead yeah. from schoolwork to all sorts of things and school cricket, other sports because they cross over because a lot of them are talented. So yeah, keeping them focused is difficult, but. Um, yeah, it's something, a bit of man management works with all these boys. All right, now, so you were set, um, uh, not so hard target, 130, so you obviously bowled well. You were pretty yeah. happy with the, the effort of the boys in the field? Absolutely. We, uh, we filled the house down. That's something we've been trying to do is get down and dirty a bit in the inner circle and fight hard, and we did. We bowled well, bowled good areas, bowled less wides and only one no ball. So fielding was really good and uh, bowling was good. So we improved, I would say, a huge amount from the first couple of games. Yeah, good chat. Yeah, very good chat. We kept up the fight all day in the field, so we chatted well. We came at them aggressively, and that was something we said, you know, they're on our patch, so let's make sure we go at them all day and make it a bit uncomfortable for them on our ground. And the boys did that. They kept going all day. Could have been a couple of times we dropped a catch, which we shouldn't have. That could have been a rollover where we just went in our shell, but uh, the boys kept fighting hard, which I was proud of them for doing that. Right, 130, mate. Uh, obviously, uh, it's, it's like a two-foot putt, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is, looks mate. simple enough, but uh, sometimes you can come unstuck. Um, boys, early trouble? Yeah, we did. I think um, we talked a lot about doing, you know, just grinding our way to this win. Um, because we thought it was going to be hard, these guys um, beaten, so they've come at us. But um, some of the boys wanted to go hard, and I think we wanted to get it over and done with pretty quickly, and, and you know make a big break in the total. But we come a bit unstuck, and we're four for twenty, struggling at that stage. So I was getting real nervous then. I think I just had three heart attacks and bit through the nails by then. I was pretty. That's why I almost had to go for a walk. I was like, "Hey, Ben, I thought, no, we don't want another collapse." But. But yeah, I just talked to the batsman and said, look, you know, just, just a partnership back the next 10. You know, just get a bit dirty. Don't worry about what we get. We've got many overs to bat here. But when you do is bat some overs, some things will come right for us. Mm. And we've got a couple of partnerships, then another one. And then they came back and tried to um, knock us over with their quicks when we, were, when we were five down, which is obviously what I would have done, gone for the kill. And I just said to the boys, let's get through this. And then they're going to have to bring some of the lesser bowlers back at the end. Mm. And that's what happened. And we took to the lesser bowlers and, and got home in the end, I think, in 40 overs. So we won pretty comfortably. Mm. even though it didn't look like it on the scoreboard.